This is Patrice Wenling at the American Society of Clinical Oncology. He's speaking with Dr. Tapalian about some new uh, data that she's presented very early, but it appears to be the culmination of a great deal of work on the PD-1 um, pathway. Doctor, could you describe it a little bit? Yes, um, in this study that we're reporting here at ASCO and also in the New England Journal, um, we treated patients with an antibody that enhances immune activity against cancer. Uh, this antibody is called anti-PD-1 and um, it blocks an immune suppressive pathway that occurs within tumors uh, and then by so doing it enhances uh, the ability of immune cells uh, to kill cancer cells. Um, as a result of this study we saw tumor regression occurring in patients who had not responded to other therapies, patients with melanoma, kidney, and lung cancer. Uh, we found it remarkable that a single drug had a major impact in patients with three different kinds of cancers. The results in the lung were particularly interesting. Could you speak a little bit about that? There's a great deal of excitement there. Um, we're quite excited about it as well. Um, these results were unexpected to us because lung cancer is not thought of as being responsive to immune-based therapies. Uh, but in this trial, we saw 18% of patients with non-small cell lung cancer and uh, with different subtypes of, that, of lung cancer responding to this uh, treatment. And many of these responses were very long-lasting. And how would you describe the patient tolerability and how would it compare to uh, another agent last year, ipilimumab, that was uh, also quite exciting? Right. Uh, so this is an outpatient therapy. The patients come to the outpatient clinic uh, once every two weeks. They're there uh, for about an hour getting an intravenous infusion, and then they go about their business. Um, we found that uh, most patients tolerated the drug very well. Um, the rate of, of drug-related uh, serious events was only 14%. Um, however, a note of caution there, um, uh, th those were, uh, there, there were other events um, that occurred that um, um, were not uh, expected, in, in particular lung inflammation or pneumonitis. Um, we uh, did encounter three deaths due to pneumonitis on this trial, 1% of all the patients that we treated, um, and we are developing better ways to recognize this early and to treat it aggressively. Do you think it might be better tolerated than uh, IPI? In comparison to IPI, this is a better tolerated drug and it also has a higher response rate. Uh, IPI does not have a major impact in lung cancer as far as we know, so this is the other thing that's different about PD-1 compared to IPI. And where are you going from here with this? Uh, uh, we need to, to test the drug in, in larger numbers of patients and develop a standardized way uh, to treat patients with it, um, hopefully on, on a path uh, to approval so that it will be available to more patients. And you are including it in combination with uh, IPI in a, in a new trial cup coming, correct? Uh, that trial is already ongoing at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering and also at Yale University, sponsored by Bristol-Myers. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate your time.